Welcome back to Fire Emblem Thracia 776. This is chapter 21. Uh, I'm going to spend as much time as I need to talking about uh, something... Uh, it's not really like... So, uh, the past few chapters I haven't really talked much about the Japanese, and I feel kind of badly about that, because that seems to be one of the things people like most about these videos, uh, are these little bits of Japanese learning, tidbits, stuff like that. Uh, so let me talk about something that uh, isn't directly related to the script here, uh, but something in the script made me think of it. Uh, and it is something that I have read uh, and thought about in regard to like Japanese language literature on this game. And let me explain what I mean. Um, while finishing the audio for the last chapter and watching the conversation between Nana and Diarmid, um there's this part where they talk about, you know, like, well, let's find our mother, uh, Rakasis, together. You know, let, let's look for her, because the whole thing is, Rakasis wasn't one of the ones who died in uh, Fire Emblem 4. Uh, she uh, hung around for a while and then, and then wandered off into the, the Aid Desert, or the Yid Desert, or whatever you want to call it. So she's presumably still alive. Uh, and, you know, Nana calls her, uh, her mother, their mother, and, uh, well, they both do. And so, you know, in regard to Fire Emblem 4, um, obviously, units can have any number of, like, father units, uh, aside from, you know, some of the ones that are set in stone. Um, but you can have, uh, like, anybody from Beowulf to even Finn be, uh, the fathers of any of the kids in that game uh, and that includes Nana and if uh, you do have Finn be her father in that game they even have like unique a unique conversation uh, that they can trigger uh, in their joining chapter or like Finn's rejoining chapter if you will um, and this game uh, she actually calls him father uh, I think whether it's in the translated version or in, uh, in the Japanese version, uh, she calls him father. And uh, the thing about uh, adoptive parents and, and the like, and like fostering and stuff in Japanese, they do have terms for that. Uh, th those concepts do exist in Japanese, but uh, there's not really like... The way like honorifics and uh, like honoring your parents works in Japanese is they, they just say father. It's, there's, there's not a big uh, show made about like, oh yeah, that's my stepdad. They, they just use the same term generally. It's that they're respectful like that. Um, you know, if somebody is taking on the role of the father, then, then you're the dad. And I think a lot of people feel that way just generally uh, about like step parents and uh, things like that. Uh, but it's it's definitely a, a very prevalent idea in Japanese. So uh, what I'm trying to say here is that uh, when you play this in Japanese, it's or maybe in English, maybe you picked up on this yourself uh, playing the English versions. Um, the game isn't making any concrete judgment on who Nana's father is. And that's not to say that, like, you know, Rakasis was, like, you know, getting passed around and nobody knows who their father is. That's not what they're saying. They're trying to just make it so you can project your own father onto Nana. And something that supports that whole thing is that, uh, like, so take Leaf, for example. He has uh, adepts, um, just like one of his parents. I forget which parent he inherits that from. I think it's uh, Kian and, and not Ethlyn. Uh, I could be wrong. So, uh, Fire Emblem 5 is very aware of uh, the logic and laws of Fire Emblem 4 in that regard. Um, but Nana only has uh, charm and Dermod only has charm. So, they only have their mother's trait. Uh, they don't have, like, say, Beowulf's uh, skills, so you, you can't infer any particular parent 
So you, you can play this game uh, thinking that, you know, uh, Finn is her biological father, and, and that's fine. That works just fine. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, something I neglected to mention toward the beginning of this explanation is that uh, even though uh, Avel acts as Anna's mother in, in terms of this game, um, she doesn't call her mother. Uh, she calls her just by her name. Uh, you, you can see that back in uh, chapter 5 when they're in the pit together. That's like the only real interaction that those two actually have, believe it or not, in this game. Even though all of these, you know, like, you know, Fianna guys, like, you know, live together in that village from the beginning of the game. Uh, which you can actually visit in Fire Emblem 4, sort of, technically. Uh, obviously, it doesn't make any reference to Fire Emblem 5 because that game wasn't out yet, or even being made, probably. Um, and there is some, like, extra, uh, literature that I think I mentioned, um, that, where the, the language also is very important there in terms of, uh, like, you know, how they approach the issue of, well, who is Nana's father now that we have Fire Emblem 5. So I'll try and dig that up and put that into the description and maybe talk a little bit more about the whole issue there. But, uh, hey, wait, uh, there is, like, a chapter going on here, isn't there? Uh, I should probably say something about it. Um, at this point, like, in the previous chapter I talked about how uh, I didn't know uh, if, because of just decisions that I've made throughout this run, uh, I've ended up kind of like shorthanded, especially in terms of equipment uh, more so. Um, and I kind of did like a little bit of quick mental math, and I figured, uh, I think I have enough uh, to get through this game in a pretty timely fashion uh, with just some like funny tricks um, and so you know I, I didn't really feel like I had the resources to go about this map the normal way and well why would you want to at all uh, well it, it's the kind of thing where you, you should go through some of these chapters normally at some point just to see what it's like just to see what you know fighting a war feels like in that regard I think it, it's fun that way um but otherwise uh there's not much in this chapter uh the big thing is linoan's promotion event uh which happens if you send her and only her to the church on the very right corner of the map uh upper right corner kind of um you have two options you can fight your way over there uh, which is not fun, especially because like a bunch of promoted like mage knights and stuff uh, start spawning from over there on like turn four or something. Uh, or you can warp her over there, which you know it's up to you if you think that's worth a use of warp. It kind of depends on how well you've grinded up Linoan to that point in time, whether she's going to hit A rank staves on her promotion or not. Uh, I sometimes do it, I sometimes don't, and this is one of those times that I don't. Sorry, Linoan fans. Um, th there's like a couple houses in this chapter, I don't think they have anything super great. Uh, if you visit the church with anybody else, you only get like a vulnerary or something stupid like that. But you know, it, it's... It, I, I don't think it's really worth the trouble. There, there's like ballista everywhere on this map. There's venom ballista, like poison ballistas on this map, uh, which are weak, but you know, getting poison sucks. Uh, the long ballista, with like at least two of them. Uh, there are uh, all those promoted reinforcement units. There's that group of wyverns that's running toward Asbel right now. Uh, there's guys with status staves, uh, like at least two of them. I think there's like a one on the boss, and there's one on a unit right next to him that has like sleep or something. So I, I was more than happy to not have to play this chapter. Uh, I, it, it's really not the worst chapter in that regard. It's not like if I had to pick one chapter and only one that I could warp skip, it, it probably wouldn't be this one, but uh, I don't have to make that choice. So uh, we're, we're not gonna play this one. Sorry, uh, I hope my little rambling was, uh, you know, uh, better than this chapter was. Um, 
that's about it. Uh, we will see you in chapter... Uh, I don't remember if it's the Gaiden next or, or if it's uh, one of the other mainland chapters, but we'll see you in whatever chapter that is. Thanks for watching.